Good morning, everyone. Is it afternoon? Oh, good morning. Please, can we move forward? Can we come forward? I think it's the first jury seat. All right? Please move forward. All right. Oh, sir. Is that in the plan? Just can we can we paint the set up to the end of the class? Yeah. So uh, thank you. Please come forward, sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh good morning everybody. My name is Blara Balao. Yeah, yeah, you can you can see that, you know. I just want to I want to feel the connection, you know. <laughs> the closer the better. Uh my name is Balara Balao. I'm one of the trainers. Um, in GTC, I believe uh, Mr. Chima has done a very great job um, to introduce everybody to Forex yesterday uh, during the introductory class, right? And so today we are going to build on what was learned yesterday, all right? And um, today we are going to be talking about trading psychology, you know, because I believe um, trading is a game that if I'm going to um, if I'm going to put it into like um divide it okay what aspect of trading deals with technical what aspect deals with the psychology i would say 90 percent of trading is psychology 90 percent 90 percent psychology all right and 10 percent technicals some people say 50 percent psychology 50 percent technical but i actually believe that if you have the right mindset as a trader, um, the technical becomes easier at that point, all right? But if you don't have the right frame of mind, even if you have all the technical skills in this world, it's still possible that you are mixing something up because you don't just have the right frame of mind and you don't have the right emotion uh, to be a trader. And to be a trader, you need actually need the right psychology. You need, you need to have the right mindset. So I have this training first in Illinois last week. Right, and um, I feel okay. Let us have the training again in Lagos and um, introduce you guys to you know what's the right mindset to actually really have. What's the difference between those that succeed in trading and those that don't? Because there has to be a difference, and um, technical skill can't just be the difference. Technical skills, you can't just be the difference between the people that succeed and the people that don't. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of um, trader friends. Um, you know, some of them making a lot of money. Some of them make more money than me. You know, and some of them don't make as much money as I do in the market. All right. And um, what thing I've learned from like the difference between those that actually really succeed, make a lot of money, and those that don't make a lot of money is not technical skill. In fact, sometimes the people that are not making much money, they have more skill. They know more of these jargons, all these uh, you know, all these strategies. Yeah. They know more of those strategies than those that make money. So what is the difference between those that make money and those that don't? And um, I really love you to pay attention to this class. Because if you get this right, believe me, 90% of your problem as a trader has unsolved. If you get this particular class right, 90% of your 
program as a trader. It has been solved. All right. So let's move on. So I want to start by saying that there's no shortage of money in the world. As a matter of fact, there's no shortage of money in the financial markets. This is how much money they have in circulation as of 2021. You can see the United States of America had over $105 trillion in circulation. This was 2019. I believe this was before COVID-19. All right? I remember there was a lot of printing of cash during COVID-19. So I expect this uh, volume right now to uh, at least multiply by two between 2019 and 2023. All right? You see Germany, you see Japan, you see China at $63.8 trillion. All right? You see France, Nigeria is even nowhere to be found. Oh, Nigeria is around there. Nigeria is $0.44 trillion. That's about $440 billion. Um, dollars. We have a circulation in Nigeria. So there is no shortage of money um, in the world. All right? There's no short there can't be a shortage of money in the world with all of this money in circulation. All right? And uh, my, mentor, my mentor mentioned something very profound. Uh, he said, if you take all the money in the world and you divide it up equally between all the people in the world, all right? Let's say, what's the population of the world now? Like about 8 billion. We are 8 billion now. 8 billion plus now. And he said, if you divide all the world, all the wealth, all the money in the world, you divide it equally between everybody, equally. That means there's no billionaire, there's no millionaire. Everybody is mates now, all right? He said, sooner or later, the money will be back to the same pockets before the distribution. What does that mean? It means that the things that create wealth is not just money. Because wealth is, 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 is uh, far beyond just um, the cash. If you don't have the ability to create wealth, and I give you $1 million, you'll lose it. You'll lose it. That's why you see gamblers. When they make money, they eat a jackpot. Now, maximum three to five years, they are back to where they were three to five years ago, before they won. So money does not make you rich. Money does not make you successful. Even though um, um, this guy, uh, one of the guys I listened to, he said, you don't, you don't, you don't become successful because you make money. He said you don't become successful because you, you are making money. He said you make money because you are already successful. Because money is a um, result of being successful. So if you are already successful, money will come to you. And if you are not successful, money won't come. All right? And success is a thing of the mind. That's why the, the mind is what we have to take care of first. Because if you take care of the mind, the other things kind of fall in place. All right? So I was saying there's no shortage of money in the world. And uh, I hope you believe that. Uh, you know, you see, the, you see the statistics. There's only a shortage of people going after it. And there's a shortage of value. And um, another thing you need to learn is that there's a, there's a, there's a question I normally ask. Uh, is it possible to multiply your income by 10 as a person? Do you believe you can multiply your income by 10? Say like a minute, it's possible. Do you believe you can multiply your income by 10? Like what you currently earn right now. I don't know what you currently earn. Let's say you currently earn a million naira every month right now. Is it possible to multiply that by 10 and say any 10 million naira? Do you believe it's possible? It's possible. You believe it's nice. Do you believe it's possible? Very possible. I, you talk like a minute, all right? So let's say someone that's earning a million naira right now, all right? And um, we say, is it possible to multiply your income by 10? So if I'm earning a million naira on a monthly basis, now, you're saying uh, maybe in the next five months or 10 months or one year, is it possible I start making 10 million naira? Absolutely possible, all right? Now, now I'm on 10 million naira on a monthly basis as a trader. Now, is it possible to multiply this money by 10 again? Is it? There's a price. There's a price. There's a price to pay. Nobody will hand over times 10 of what you are earning for you because you are fine. Nobody will hand it over to you because you are in Nigeria. Even the price, even the price, or, you know, if you look at it from the angle of the price, mm. it's the same system that will produce 1 million. Who produce 10 million? Yeah, there's a price. Of course, there's a higher price to pay for, all, and there's a higher value. Yeah. There's a higher value and there's a higher price. So, 
it is possible. It's not like we don't have people. There's a there's a this thing I saw the other day of the highest paid CEOs in Nigeria. I'm sure you must have seen it. You know, like top ten highest paid um, CEOs who are making crazy money, billions of of naira being paid to these guys on a yearly basis. But it took something to get there. They paid the price to get there. I don't believe success is a matter of luck. No. It can't be a matter of luck. It can't. As a matter of fact, I actually don't believe in it. I don't really believe in luck. I don't, be, I don't really believe in luck. Because if, if, it, if it is luck that it takes to be successful, someone said the, 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 the other I work, the luckier I get. So luck is also more than a probability kind of game. What happens in the process of making that? I mean, you, you become lucky along the way. <laughs> so, luck is not something you sit down with and say, okay, I'll be lucky one day. No. You, know, you have to make your own luck. You have to make your own luck happen. All right? So, this guy is already making 10 million naira uh, on a monthly basis. And we are saying, is it possible to multiply that income by 10 again? And we are agreeing that it is possible, right? Everybody is agreeing. All right? So, from 10 million naira monthly, we are saying it is possible to start making. Osas, please, this thing is not working. It's possible to start making a 100 million naira on a monthly basis. It's not like we don't have people making this amount of money. As a matter of fact, I know people personally that are making 10 times of this. I know someone that's making this on, on a trade, just one single trade. Just one single trade. His name is Aja Banks. I'm going to show you some of his. Uh, some of his content is is a Pakistan, is a Pakistani um, guy, you know, and he grew up in Canada, moved to Canada, then he's living in Dubai now. You have to find where he will be spending his money. He became so rich in Pakistan. So we enter a trade and it come out with five hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars. So I have to look for somewhere in the world where you can go and spend that money. You, you get, you are making that kind of money in Pakistan. Pakistan is like Nigeria. I mean, like, the standard of living is very low. So you can live on a thousand dollars yen in Pakistan. Yes. You know. And he was making that kind of money. So, we are saying it's possible to make this kind of money on a monthly basis. Alright? And um, this is a question of value. And this is another question I usually ask uh, during the mindset training that what is the difference between these two guys? The guy making $100 um, dollars every month as a trader and the guy making $10,000 as a trader every month. What's the difference? What do you think? There are a couple of, there are a lot of difference actually, but let's, let's, let's put down the ones uh, we can think about, all right? So what's the difference between someone that makes $100 monthly and someone that makes $10,000 monthly? Do you want to help us? Yeah, yeah. One, different mindsets. Different mindsets. Oh, sir, this is all working. There's no, there's no marker. Because there has to be a difference. The difference is not just that uh, this one is. It's more muscular. <laughs> it doesn't take muscle to make money. <laughs> so sorry for the delay. Please let me get the let me get to that so. Is there no marker? Is a All right, so we are saying what is the difference between someone that makes a uh, hundred dollar monthly and someone that makes ten thousand dollar monthly? All right, and he said mindset. Mindset is a very, very essential part of uh, success. So mindset, what else? What else can we think of? The difference between someone that makes $100 monthly and someone that makes $10,000 monthly. What's the difference? Value, all right? Value, you said money invested, which is capital, right? Capital. 
All right. What else? Do you want to help us? What's the difference? The goal. The goal. All right. He said goal. He said risk appetites. What else? All right. Appetites. All right. The skill. What else? Is that all? Think. What the? Believe. Huh? Way of life, believe. Right? Way of life. Said believe. Uh, in the lottery, they said hard work. <laughs> Some of them said discipline. Right? Discipline. Is that all we can think of? Think. Think. Let's 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 think more. Let's think deeper. Access to information, yeah? Okay. Information. What else? I need two more. At least two more. We can we can do two more. What's the difference between a guy that makes hundred dollar monthly and a guy that makes ten thousand dollar monthly? Vision, right? Vision. One more. Economy. Environment, right? Environment. Environment. These are all valid um, things. Because if you don't have the value of $10,000 monthly, you can't make that money. All right? If you don't have the belief, if you don't believe that you can make $10,000 monthly, it's not possible for you. If you don't have the discipline to make that much money, you won't. And uh, sometimes if you don't have the goal that you can make that kind of money, you won't. All right? And um, believe me, all of these things fall under one thing. All of these things, uh, environment, value, capital, goal, risk appetite, skill, hard work, discipline, um, information, way of life, belief. All of them still fall under what? You fall under mindset. You fall under mindset. Because the guy making $100 a month, the mindset is the mindset of the person making $100 a month. And for you to start making 10x, 100x of that, you have to change your mind. You really have to change your mind. Sometimes the difference is not the skill. Because the same hard work it takes to make $100 a month is sometimes is the same thing it takes to make 10000 And, you know, the market will teach you that it's the same hard work that it takes to make $1 sometimes. It's the same hard work it takes to make $100 or $1 million. The guy I was talking to you about, right, about it, maybe it takes 20 pips, 100 pips from the market sometimes. And the guy will make $100,000 from the market. And I will take the same trade here in Nigeria, the same analysis. And I'll make maybe $10 or $100 maximum. So the difference is not hard work. It's not working harder than I am. It's not. It's not. But it has more capacity than I do. And capacity is a function of what? Mindset. So if you have mindset, you build capacity. Your mindset is going to build value. Your mindset is going to get you more capital. Because there is no shortage of what? There is no shortage of money in the world. So it's not like the money does not exist somewhere. The money is somewhere. The money you need right now is somewhere just sitting down. It's sitting down somewhere. Maybe in the bank, maybe in someone's pocket. I don't know, but it's sitting down somewhere. You know? So your mindset is going to produce the goal. If you have the right mindset, you set goal. I have a goal for the year. My goal for this year is to make a million dollars. This year. A million. It may be, it may be a lot. It may be far fetched to a lot of people. But it's not to me. I believe I can make that much money within a calendar year. I believe it. And I'm working towards it. And sometimes when you set a goal to achieve something, it's not just about reaching that goal. It's what you have to become to achieve that goal. So let's say you're currently making a million naira monthly. And you set a goal to make, start making 10 million naira monthly. You know it will take something of you to start making that kind of money. All right? It will definitely um, take something of you. So that for every 
for every prize, prize like a cup or a trophy, there's a price. There's a price. All right? So in the process of making that much money, you will grow. You will become a better version of yourself. You will build more skill. You will build more risk appetite. All right? You, you may possibly work harder. You indulge in more discipline. But all has to start with mindset first. Please say after me. A rich mindset will produce a rich person. How many times? 100% of the times. 100% of the time. That's why you see, you see someone in a particular level, but their mindset does not correlate, like their mindset does not correlate with their current situation right now. And you see the same person five years later. See that? Now you are talking. Because, so there was, there was a particular write-up um, I did a time ago, because I traveled, I traveled um, out of Lagos, and I was just thinking about it. So what's the difference between someone that's delusional and someone that has faith? What's the difference? Because sometimes we don't really know the difference between someone delusional and someone that's faithful. So what's the difference? The only difference I could think of is that is results. Because when you get what you want out of life, they say you are you have faith. I love this guy's faith. But when you don't get what you want, they say you are delusional. You're just deceiving yourself. All right. So you have to get what you want in order not to be delusional. It's the truth. And every time a poor mindset will, will produce a poor person, 100% of the time, 100% of the time, there's this, there's this saying that water always finds what? It's level. Water will always find its level. That's why when they, when they, if they distribute all the money in the world equally among everybody, the money will find its way back to the same pocket. Right to the right owner. It will find its way back to the right owner. Okay, let me let me let me let me mention a typical example was when COVID nineteen hit in twenty twenty, right? And they printed trillions of dollars in the United States, right? And they started giving benefit out to you know the United States um, citizen and all that. Can you guess what people were spending the benefit money on? Bushy bag, um, Chanel bag, designer shoe. And all of this, that was when this uh, guy that owns uh, LV, uh, this uh, Richard Bernard, or what's the guy said, that was when his wealth skyrocketed. Because he was selling, he was positioned to collect those money. And the best thing is, where are they wearing those stuff? <laughs> I mean, do you understand that? So that quote is, is, is the truth. Is the truth. We've seen it live and direct. Because people saw that this is free money. So I can spend it on luxury bag. I can spend it to 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 gratify that that craving that I've been I've been having for a long time. So they started spending it on luxury, and this guy is worth signing multiplying. That was when all of these companies, Tesla, you know, the price was just going up. The stock price it was just going up. So as some people are becoming poorer, some people are becoming richer. Some people are becoming richer. So it is the way it is a principle of life. It's a principle of life, all right? So I'm going to recommend two books for you um, in terms of this mindset training. And I, I really want to beg you, if you've not read these two books, please go and, read, go and read them. See, these two books, I've read them over and over and over and over and over again. And every time I read them, I see, I see things from a different perspective. I see things from a different perspective. See, in, 20, in 2016, my goal for the year was to make a millionaire. In one, in one year, 2016, when I started trading, my goal for the year was to make my first million euro. And I was working every single day from beginning of the year to the end of the year. I wanted to make it that money. And I remember on, on Christmas Eve, I didn't even remember tomorrow is Christmas because I was working. I was just grinding it out. I was like, I have to reach this goal. And I did not hit the goal in 2026, uh, 2016. Right, and looking back now, there was one of the trading days we had uh, about maybe two, three weeks ago, and I made about a millionaire, um, about 800k thereabouts. And it didn't really occur to me that that's a lot of money anymore. What's the difference between someone that wants to make a millionaire in a year 
and someone that makes that sit down. We, we all sat down here. Everybody was here. And we took a train for like five seconds. I made like 800k now, k there, but I can't even remember the thing. What's the difference between the guy that set a goal to make his first million era in 2016 and the guy that's making almost a million era on the spot? The difference is not hard work. The difference is not skill set sometimes. Because I had as much skill in 2016 that, as I have right now. In fact, I knew more about trading in 2016. Because that time, you talk about our strategy. Ah, I don't rush there. Let me learn this one. Let me learn. I was learning everything. One of those things are not really giving me any money. So the difference between the guy making $100 monthly, like I said, and the guy making 10000 Sometimes it's not hard work. It's just the mindset and it's the capacity sometimes. Sometimes it's not like you are doing the wrong thing, but you've not just spent enough time in what you are doing to be able to get what you want. And sometimes the difference is value. Value. I can tell you for a fact, I'm more valuable now than I was in 2016. Way more valuable. So the marketplace is a just employer. It will pay you what you deserve. The financial market is a just employer. It will pay you what you deserve. And sometimes I don't really like the term making money. Um, I think it was a nice way that said the only people that make money are the people that work in the central banks. Those are the only people that make money. The rest of us earn money. So when you think about earn, you know that okay, you have to give something in return to be able to get what you want. And sometimes this, this vocabulary is the difference between success and failure. This is the difference sometimes. You know, um, there was this training of Tony Robbins I did one time. And he was saying, you know, your vocabulary uh, as a person. Okay, let's say, let's say, for example, someone is angry. And instead of saying, I'm angry, I say, I'm furious. All right? Does that increase my emotion or decrease it? Instead of saying I'm angry, I say I'm furious. In terms of emotional intensity, it will increase it. Because being furious and being angry, even though it's all, almost the same thing, but furious is more or less like exaggeration. All right? And he said, instead of saying I'm happy, why not say, why not say I'm excited? Even though happy and excited is the same, almost the same thing. But it kind, it kind of like increase the whole thing that you are feeling. So sometimes vocabulary is the difference between um, doing the right thing and not doing the right thing. It's, and it's not like you are saying something opposite or, you know, but you can increase the intensity of what you feel by what you say. So I don't like the term making money anymore. I love to say earn. Okay, we are earning money. That way, you know, you are giving something in return to the marketplace. To get what you want. Alright, so please go get these two books. I recommend it in the Laurel last week, and some of them have already you know gotten it. It doesn't mean this person will read it, but at least it's smart enough to get the book. So it has to be smart enough to do what? To read it. And um, if you read it and you read it again, you get the value from the book. Believe me, you will. You will those two books change my life. I won't lie to you. This is the same thing. I, like there was a particular chapter in this book, um, Richard Swan in Babylon. I remember every time I go back to it and I read it again. There was, there was a particular guy that they sent him on uh, slavery. He, he borrowed money. And in the olden days, if you borrow money and you cannot pay back, they can, they can sell you off to, to recoup um, the money. So they sold him off as a slave and um, he shall found his way um, to escape you know, the, the slavery, and um, he had to go through the desert to find his way back to the city. And he was almost giving up during that pursuit. He almost gave up in the desert because there was no food, there was no water, there was nothing. And he was literally working for days. And there was a particular point where he said, where there's determination, there's a way. So he kept on going and kept on going and kept on going. And finally, he found where he was going to. And, you know, several, you know, um, several stories in that book that will really, like, move you as a person. Right? So, read those two books. It will really help you in terms of your mindset and um, 
you know. So, like we were saying, what's the difference between the guy that makes $100 monthly and the difference that, uh, uh, um, the guy that makes $10,000 monthly? And I was saying it is not hard work sometimes, it's all skill. Because the skill it takes to make $100 monthly from the market is the same skill it takes to make $1,000, the same skill it takes to make $10,000, right? But you have to work on the mindset. You have to work on the mindset first as a trader. You have to work on the mindset because your mindset is going to produce skill. If you have the right mindset, you go to where they are learning the right thing. And you, you, you move close to them. You move close to them. What are you people doing? You know, you know Nigerians have very funny mindsets sometimes. And they see young people making money. And the next thing that comes to their mind is what? Yahoo, Yahoo. You don't even know anything. You just assume that ah, Yahoo no shit. Nothing you can tell me. No, there's nothing you can tell me. It's Yahoo, Yahoo. And sometimes when your mind is closed like that, you literally close the potential of what you can become. Yes, it may be true that they are doing Yahoo, Yahoo, but can you ask questions? It's more, yes, we know a lot of them. I know some of them. I even know some of them personally. We went to school together. Do you understand? But is it every time that's what they do? No. Because if you, if you assume that that's what everybody is doing, even the people doing the right thing, you join all of them together. You join all of them together. All right? So I said the mindset will produce the skill. The mindset will produce value. The mindset will produce money. Will produce money. If you have the right mindset, the money will find its way to your pocket. The money will find its way to your pocket. That day that I was telling you that okay, made 800k plus there about. That's not a lot of money anymore. But that used to be a lot of money. That was like my highest trading day, yes. But then, it's still not a lot of money because if I compare what I'm looking at to the goal I want to reach by the end of the year, that's like 1% or it's even irrelevant. It's irrelevant. So you have to keep on working. You have to keep on working. And as you keep on working, your mind is getting expanded. Keep on working on yourself. Not, not working hard now. I'm not talking about also and bossing now. Because the other worker in the world are not the richest. Have you gone to a market before? And you see those people carrying every load. Those people are hustling. They are hustling. And how much do they take home every day? Maybe 5k. Maximum. Maximum, maybe 5k. All right? So this is a graveyard of, um, of traders, like, like I, I like to call it. All right? And um, in order not to end up here, these are the people that will tell you Forex is a scam. Forex is this, Forex is that. Uh, they scam me here, yeah, they scam me there. Don't go near Forex. I lost money in Forex and all that. You know, you have many Nigerians here, many people. As a matter of fact, 90% of people that come into the market, they end up here. 90%. Right? And um, if you do what the majority of people are doing, what do you get? You get, the you get the same results. You get the same results. Sometimes, sometimes, let me tell you the secret of life. Just see. What majority of people are doing and do the exact opposite the exact opposite of what majority of people are doing is the right thing most times majority of all if not most of the time majority of the times the the right thing is the opposite of what every other person is doing so right now you see people talking about okay prop firm this prop firm that everybody's rushing to go and buy prop firm account not to consign me i don't know I, i've never opened a prop firm account I don't even intend to open one. So Profem is like a, a company that gives you, you buy the accounts. So you can have, let's say, $40 in your account, and they give you a demo account of like $10,000. So if you pass the challenges, they, you know, they share the profit on that account with you. And you see people buying, oh, I'm buying, I'm buying multiple times, five times, 10 times. They keep on buying, but there's no results. But there's no results, you know. So I intend to stick to what I know. And that's another, that's another secret. There was this uh, Dangote um, interview we were watching one time. And uh, one of, I don't remember a lot of things he said in the interview. But one thing I, I remember that I said that I'm really holding on to, he said he doesn't put one layer of his money into what he doesn't understand. He said all of his business, if they wake him up in the middle of the night like this, that, well, yeah, 
what is this? What he said he will give you details. Either the cement or the sugar or the um, refinery. Now. He said he has a clear understanding of what these businesses are all about. So what you don't understand, always invest in knowledge first. Invest in knowledge. Investment in knowledge pays the highest dividend. Because if you invest in knowledge, it's easier to invest money. And you get return for your money at that point. Because you've already invested in the knowledge, in understanding that trade. In understanding that trade, all right? And of course, this is the trader's um, lifestyle. This is the lifestyle everybody wants to live. Who, who doesn't want a supercar? Who doesn't want a private, a private jet? Everybody wants that. But there's a price.